Aloha. I, I wanted to follow up on the itching I've been having. I've kind of figured some stuff out. Maybe not exactly, but I'm getting closer. Um, I, I did figure out that I start itching whenever I get hot and when my skin starts to sweat. And I found this out when I was out doing my property inspections and I noticed that you know, I was, I'm out walking around and I'm getting hot and then I start itching. Um, it's a prickly, it's like little pins and needles pick, prickling at my skin that, and it itches so bad. And it wasn't sunny out that day, but it, it was overcast. But it was 85 degrees, which typically we run around 70 degrees here, so that was kind of hot. And it was very humid. And so, and humidity doesn't normally bother me, but so when I feel the humidity, it's pretty humid. And so that's when I first noticed, hey, this happens when I get hot and when I start sweating. So then I started keeping more in tune to it. And I noticed it's every time I, I get hot and my skin starts to sweat, that's when the itching starts. And of course now I itch. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about itching, I itch. So I did a little bit of research on the internet, which is a dangerous thing. Don't do it. I know I say do your own research, but you know, there's a point where it's like, oh God. Um, so one of the first things I found that it could be is um, Hodgkin's disease, which is a type of cancer. Okay. <laughs> I kind of ruled this one out because I just went through chemo and radiation and like, you know, had tests. And yeah. So, okay. Um, that one's gone. I'm not going to consider Hodgkin's. Um, then I found this one called, I have to go to my notes here, cholinergic, cholinergic uticaria. And there's actually a whole website devoted to this. Of course, he's trying to sell a book too. Um, but it's the the symptoms of this are actually spot on, and I did, I went to like WebMD and stuff like that to verify this thing, making sure it wasn't just something that somebody made up to sell a book. And um, what it is, is you start itching when you're exposed to heat. It's almost like an allergic reaction to heat. Um, it's, you can get hives, uh, you can, you know, bumps, hives, welts. I don't get those. It's not necessarily a factor. You can get this without the hives. Um, and as soon as you're away from the heat, when, once you start to cool down, then the itching goes away. This is exactly what I'm going through. So, um, you know, as long as I'm in an AC cooled building, I'm fine. It's when I get out into the heat, when I'm sitting at home in my hot little apartment. I have this little tiny studio apartment with low ceilings. And so the air, and there's only one little corner that has windows. So there's no cross ventilation. I can't circulate air in there. And the windows are on the west side of the apartment. So the heat just builds up in there. Morning is actually really nice in the apartment. Um, it's cool, it's, or if you go into the back of side of the apartment where the sun doesn't get to. But along around 10 o'clock in the morning, it starts to heat up and the rest of the day, you know, up until midnight is just miserable. And so I sit, you know, like on weekends when I'm home or after I get off work and I'm home. I'm sitting on the sofa with a fan right in front of me. Um, so as soon as you get out of the heat and go into like an AC cooled building, they go away. Um, and one of the thing that, and I'm citing, I'm quoting this from the website, 
Individuals often feel compelled to scratch vigorously during this reaction. However, scratching does not resolve the itching. Yes, that's exactly it. And then WebMD, when I looked up this, um, I'm gonna call it CU because I can't say it well enough. Um, WebMD says CU is caused by nerve fibers in your sweat glands and it's the body reacting to an antibody in your own sweat called immunoglob immunoglobulin G. Okay, and then the other thing I found, generalized pur puritis, dry skin. But the only thing is, it's that pin prickle you know, like hundreds and thousands of little pins pricking at my skin, which makes me go back to that first one, that col or second one, the culinar cholinergic urticaria. And so, but the only thing is, it's, there's not really anything you can do. You can take antihistamines, which I do, I've been doing actually, once I figured out it was heat, um, actually it was before I figured out it was heat. I can't remember when I did this. But one of the things I tried was an antihistamine to see if the antihistamine would stop like the pin prickle sensation, thinking maybe it was like a, an allergic reaction of some sort. Um, so I, I really don't want to take that every day, but if I know I'm going to be out in the heat, like when I was do my property inspections and I have to go outside and walk around for a couple of hours, then I'll take one. Um, but for now, I picked up some moisturizing body wash um, from Shea Moisture. And, oh, I used it this morning. It felt so good. <laughs> and um, and then. Actually, the last two weekends, I did a vinegar rinse on my head, on my hair, um, just to help that itching. And it seems it seemed to help. However, when I get hot, it my scalp will start itching again. So, but it helps like in the in between. The only thing is, you smell like vinegar all day long. <laughs> so I'm not doing it during the week. I'm only, I only did it on the weekend, um, but it, it does feel kind of good. So that, you know, it's apple cider vinegar. Um, so that's something to try as well. But I will keep you updated and posted and let you know what's going on and see if anything, you know, uh, with the moisturizing lotion and I'll just keep slathering lotions on and I got my blue bra on today. <laughs> and um, I'll just I'll keep you posted and let you know how it goes I don't know if it's just a weather related thing or if my skin is just really dried out from the radiation at this point oh I did go on the cancer boards and I found that other people have had this reaction as well post radiation so I'm thinking that it could just be a radiation thing where the radiation dries up your skin so much that um, this happens after a few months so I'll keep you posted on that and let you know how all the you know the moisturizing soap and the because I usually use a bar soap and it's more drying but I've never had a problem with dry skin before so it's never bothered me but I'll let you know how it goes all right aloha bye bye